This is it. Nine cars lined up on our global rallycross grid here at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. And look at the front of this grid. I love the way this race is going to play out. So tough to pick who's going to get the whole shot here. Ken Block, Thomas Heikkinen, and Tanner Faust. Ken Block had lane choice, and he picked the middle position, which is an interesting choice on his part. But with an aggressive driver like Toppy there, it's probably a safe move. And moving into the second row of our Royal Purple starting grid, and here you find Brian Deegan on the right-hand side, Sfera Isaacson in the middle, and then Patrick Sandell out there on the far side. And he certainly had to fight to get into this final, but looking really, really strong here. And the third row, we have Scott Speed on the outside, Travis Pastrana, and Bucky Lassick. Those three guys who qualified through for the last chance qualifier. They fought the hardest. So you see the black and orange zombie cat livery. That's what the Puma guys call it on the Subaru. They're all ready to do battle. Travis Pastrana, he's right in the middle of the back row. He's going to try and find a way through. Neither of those guys have taken 
take the Joker when they go in to catch either one of them. And you see right at the top of your screen the face of the Joker next to the names of the guys who've already taken it, which is pretty much everybody except our two leaders, Tanner Faust and Patrick Sandell. Faust goes wide. Sandell's going to try and find a way through. I don't think he's going to make it. Yes, Tanner Faust keeps his speed up and manages to stay in front of Patrick Sandell. That is great for Faust. It was very close. Just barely enough room there to, to stay out in front. Um, Sandell still has to make that, and it's going to be tough for him now to stay ahead of Heikkinen. So really now it's all about whether Heikkinen can hold on because he knows that Sandell has to take the Joker lap. So that will get Sandell out of his way and allow him to chase down Tanner Faust for this win. Tanner Faust of the three in the beginning there is the only driver not to have taken a podium position so far this season. And he's really looking for his first win. He's pretty dominant in this sport and he's, he's looking to make it here at home. So Sandell is going to have to fight to try and pass Tanner Faust with a little bit of gap on Faust and then hope that when he takes that joker that he comes out ahead just as Tanner did. Look, locking up those brakes, coming into this elevated hairpin. Oh, and again, Heikkinen is trying to push Sandell out of the way. And I should correct myself, Tanner, of course, got third in Munich, but it's still looking for his first win. Incredible competition here at the front of the pack. What we have to remember in three races, Tomas Heikkinen in third place right now. You're on board with him. He has been on the podium at every single race. He's in third right now, but I suspect once Sandell goes out to take the Joker lap, Heikkinen will thread through. The question is, will Sandell wait until the last lap to do that? He's going to want to get as close as he can to see if <laughs> to try and stay in that position. And Heikkinen's really got the pressure on, so he has not yet been in a position where I would advise him if I were the spotter to take that joke lap. One board again with Tommy Heikkinen trying to chase down the sweet Patrick Sandell. And there, Tanner Faust really isn't pulling away from these guys, but he's just keeping enough distance on them so Sandell can't really attack. And meanwhile, Heikkinen is he being held back? Oh, look at this, Sandell is going for the Joker. Heikkinen is now going to chase down Faust. And there he is. They all maintain position. At, it's actually gives... Um, oh, dear. There looks like oh, uh, Lassic Bucky hit. Lassic has hit the wall. Well, that's He's bad for Bucky Lassic. You see, happened. Travis Pastrana is about to get lapped by Tanner Faust. Look at this. Travis having a terrible run. He manages to pull to one side. You can see smoke coming out of that Dodge Dart, too. So Pastrana pulls to one side, Heikkinen goes through, Sandell goes through, but Tanner Faust is still leading this race on the final lap. Heikkinen knows he really has to start charging hard. And here he comes. Incredible onboard view there. Look at the difference. We've got dirt and dust coming into Heikkinen's windscreen. And the sunlight as he comes through to charge into the chicane. Toppy Heikkinen looking for a way through, and I think the only chance he's got is to try and punt Tanner Faust on the hairpin. Will he go for the inside? Oh, Faust changed the hole! Travis Pastrana was already left. 